The design of the 1973 Liberty Quarter was the result of a public competition aimed at capturing the spirit of the bicentennial celebrations. Jack Lahr, an artist and illustrator from Texas, emerged as the winner with his design featuring a colonial drummer and a torch encircled by 13 stars, symbolizing the original colonies. On the obverse side, the coin retained the iconic portrait of George Washington, designed by John Flanagan. Production of the Bicentennial Quarter began in 1975 to prepare for the Bicentennial festivities in 1976. The coins were minted at three locations, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. Each mint location can be identified by its respective mint mark on the obverse side below Washington's bust. Philadelphia coins have no mint mark, Denver coins feature a D, and San Francisco coins bear an S. Cultural Significance The Bicentennial Celebrations of 1976 marked a significant milestone in American history. The issuance of the Bicentennial Quarter was part of a broader effort to commemorate the nation's heritage and values. The design elements were carefully chosen to evoke feelings of patriotism and unity among Americans. The bicentennial events included festivities, exhibitions, and cultural programs across the nation, making the bicentennial quarter a tangible symbol of this historic occasion. Market Trends and Value Determining the value of a 1973 Liberty Quarter involves several factors, including rarity, condition, and collector demand. While these quarters were produced in large quantities to meet the anticipated demand during the bicentennial period, certain factors can affect their value in the numismatic market. Condition is a critical factor in determining a coin's value. Mint state, uncirculated, examples, with sharp details and lustrous surfaces, command higher prices compared to circulated specimens. Grading services like the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, or the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC, provide standardized grading scales to assess a coin's condition accurately. Coins with mint errors or varieties may fetch higher prices due to their rarity and appeal to specialized collectors. These errors could include off-center strikes, double dies, or other anomalies during the minting process. The demand for bicentennial quarters fluctuates over time, influenced by changes in collecting trends, historical anniversaries, and the overall health of the numismatic market. Coins associated with significant historical events or featuring attractive designs tend to maintain enduring popularity among collectors. To assess the current market value of a 1973 Liberty Quarter, one can consult recent auction results, price guides, and online marketplaces specializing in numismatic items. Websites like eBay, Heritage Auctions, and PCGS CoinFAX provide valuable insights into buying and selling trends for these coins. In conclusion, the 1973 Liberty Quarter holds historical significance as part of the bicentennial celebrations of the United States. Its value in the numismatic market varies based on factors such as rarity, condition, and collector demand. By understanding its design, production history, and market dynamics, collectors can make informed decisions about acquiring or selling these coins.